Hello you fantastic people and welcome back to Borderlands 3. In this video we're going to go over the dedicated drop rates of Captain Tron. Now the dedicated loot pool has been spread out as of the last patch which is awesome. Makes it way easier to farm everything. Uh, so yeah I've been going around killing all the bosses again uh, out of Mayhem and then with Mayhem on as well to see the drop rates you can expect for world drops as well as the uh, specific dedicated drops. So yeah in this video we're going to go over where to find Captain Tron in case you're new to the uh, game as well as the drop rates you can expect up to 100 farms on Mayhem. 10 as well. But yeah, let's just jump straight into it. If you guys want to farm Captain Tron, of course, go to uh, Athena's first and then run all the way through the map, all the way around to the right, and you'll find Captain Tron's boss fight. It's actually really good now. It's actually been around for a while, but there is now an ammo dump right outside his uh, boss fight arena and a new station right there. So it's super, super easy. You never run out of ammo, which is fantastic. The fight itself is super quick. As you can see, I'm using a whole bunch of uh, variety of weapons. I'll show a bunch of clips on screen so you guys can see. If you guys want to see what build this is, by the way, it is my own flak it is linked down below if you want to check that out but absolutely annihilates troll with a whole bunch of different weapons in just a few seconds which is awesome super super efficient now i did farm captain troll outside of mayhem mode uh to test the dedicated drops because as most of you know that is the easiest way to find dedicated it uh, eliminates the world drops so you can see what's dropping regularly makes it his dedicated drop after farming him probably well over 50 times maybe even up to 75 times he didn't really drop anything at all multiple times so I decided he doesn't have any dedicated drops outside of mayhem and then I confirmed that later on as well so he originally had the tankman shield the chaosin if that's how you pronounce it as well as the firestorm grenade and the uh, devoted SMG he no longer has the firestorm grenade or the devoted SMG those have actually been moved elsewhere the grenade actually no one knows what that is yet we haven't found it uh, I'll leave it in the comment section if it does get found or if Feel free to let me know if you guys already do know. The Devoted SMG has been moved to Broadmother in Negrit Feo, and he is actually left with the Chaosin and the Tankman's Shield, which are both Mayhem dedicated drops, which is why when you turn off Mayhem um, altogether, it actually won't drop anything at all. So don't do that. Um, go all the way up to Mayhem uh, 10, if you can, of course, for the increased damage and the anointed drop rate. The Tankman Shield is a Mayhem 4 dedicated drop, so you can get that from Mayhem 4 through Mayhem 10, and the Kerosene came out with the Mayhem 6 update, so Mayhem 6 to 10, that will drop. But yeah, let's get into the dedicated drop rates for you guys. Again, after 100 farms, True Bolt Hunter mode, Mayhem 10, level 60, with our boy Flacky. You guys can expect 250 world drops to drop, which is a whole ton. It's uh, 2.5 on average world drops, and that's not including the dedicates whatsoever, uh, which is pretty good. Captain Toronto actually used to be pretty stingy with the world drops. Uh, in recent times, at least, it did used to be amazing way back when, uh, but it did actually get quite reduced. So 2.5 is actually not too bad, and average is probably 3. Uh, for the big bosses, so that's pretty good. As for dedicates though, the Tankman Shield Mayhem 4 dedicated Hyperion Sniper dropped 11 times for us, aka 11% drop rate. That one unfortunately isn't super, super strong at the moment. I'd love to see some snipers get some buffs in this game, so we'd be interested in getting that one. But the Chaosin is still very, very good. That one was amazing when it came out, and I've actually tested again recently. If you guys haven't tried it since the uh, nerf of sorts, it's actually really, really good. I would highly recommend you guys checking them out. That one dropped 16 times after 100 runs, which is pretty good, 16% drop rate, including uh, both of the 16 and 11 together. That is a 27% dedicated drop rate because, of course, the way dedicates uh, work, every once in a while, aka 27% of the time, it will pick a dedicated and it will randomly roll between the loop pool it has, aka out of the Kerosene or the Tankman Shield for Tron. Now there's only two dedicates rather than four, it is way easier to get the weapons you are looking for. I assume most of you going for the Kerosene. Uh, now there's a quite a few different variants for the Kerosene as well. Of course it comes in all elemental including non-elemental variants and it can come in a times one or a times two pallet count. I did take down the numbers for those as well in case you guys were interested. Personally my favorite is the times two pallet versions. That one dropped five times and the uh, single pallet variants dropped 11 times. So heavily in favor of the single pallet ones. I believe they come in a higher base damage if they are times two so I assume the more popular makes them more rare. And as for the elemental variants, uh, how it usually goes for weapons that have uh, all elemental types and non-elemental, um, it is exactly the same. About 50% of the time it will be non-elemental and the other 50% of the time it will be a random uh, elemental variant. And it was pretty even across the board which elements are rolled. But yeah, for example, if you guys are going for a times two pallet version with an elemental type, and the anointment you want, it is gonna take quite a while because you're rolling the best of the best uh, parts for that one. 
but it is a decent drop rate 27 percent is definitely increased from probably like the 10 percent 10 to 15 percent it used to be before this increase so that is a way easier thing to go for particularly now that the anointment drop rate or the 21 trash anointments have been taken out of the game so there's a whole lot better chance of you guys getting the good ones that you want but yeah, that is everything I have for the Kerosene and the Tankman Shield dedicated drops from Captain Trot after 100 farms on Mayhem 10 at level 60 to Volt on to mode. With that boy Flack here, hope you guys did find this video helpful or enjoyable. If you did, don't forget to smash subscribe it down below. That would be amazing. Making a whole bunch of videos for these dedicated drops to help you guys out. Hope you guys do enjoy it. If you want to help me out, even we can smash like and leave a comment down below if you have any weapons you're interested or bosses you're interested in uh, for me to make a video like this. I am more than happy to prioritize them for you guys. And uh, if you guys want to check us out over on Twitch, I live stream pretty much every single day. That is linked down below. Or just search CodyMeQ on Twitch. I live stream just after I post my YouTube videos usually. Um, and yeah, usually just hang out, make builds, find dedicated drops, and just have a good time with chat. And yeah, other than that, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I shall see you guys in the next video. And I'll live stream. Till then, adios.